Hey there swim fans, welcome to another workout of the week and today's workout is all about swimming faster butterfly. The drill we're gonna do is butterfly pull with a freestyle kick. This is a really explosive, powerful drill to work on generating a faster butterfly. Now butterfly is one of the fastest competitive strokes. If we were to rank all of the competitive strokes in speed, we're gonna start with freestyle, then butterfly, then backstroke, then breaststroke. Of course, the fastest in fifth stroke is actually the underwater dolphin kick. An underwater dolphin kick is actually faster than freestyle. So if you're swimming a butterfly race, whether it's a 50, 100, or 200, the speed that you can generate off the dive, as well as the turns, the underwater dolphin kick is actually gonna be faster than any part of the swimming race. Now in this drill and in this workout, we're gonna focus on generating power. This drill is really focused on applying full force with a big, powerful pull, freestyle kick, really flattening out the stroke. There's a lot of other drills that work on a little bit more rhythmic butterfly motion, really feeling like a dolphin on top of the water. But in this drill, it's all about power. Well, let's talk about the workout. It is 1,600 yards, 42 minutes to complete. We start out with a warm up, which is four 100s free. Then we're gonna do 850s IM, and we're gonna do these broken 100 IM. So we're gonna go 25 butterfly, 25 backstroke, and we're gonna go four rounds of that. Then we're gonna do 425's drill. Now the drill is the butterfly pull with the freestyle kick. This is again, flattening out the stroke, really working on generating power. You should have a lot of control and grace with your upper body, even though you're really pulling as hard as you can under the water with a controlled recovery, it should look graceful. Look at the best swimmers in the world like a Michael Phelps or a Katinka Hosu or a Sarah Soistrom. Their butterfly is really clean, so not making a lot of splash on top of the water, generating a lot of power underneath the water. Now the main set, we're gonna go three rounds and it's really working on that butterfly speed. We're gonna go 350s butterfly on the 110 in a best average. We're gonna try and descend one to three each of the 50s. Then we're gonna do a 50 freestyle easy. Round one is gonna be all natural, no equipment. We're gonna try and even split the number of strokes we take. Round two, we're gonna add fins. We're gonna work the underwaters that fifth stroke to really work on that underwater speed and applying that power into the stroke. Then on round three, we're gonna go fins and paddles. We're gonna really rock out the speed, maximum muscle engagement, and we're gonna try and see how fast we can go and hold it, not only descending, but hold that speed across all 350s. Then the cool down, of course, we're gonna go 425s, freestyle, silent swimming, and silent swimming is where you take the strokes with as little noise as possible. So you're actually gonna to listen to the sound that your hand makes when it enters the water and really focus on eliminating any noise because splashing is not fast. So we're gonna try and really clean up the stroke and not only butterfly, but also freestyle in the cool down as well. This workout is 1600 yards, 42 minutes to complete, working on that butterfly power. Let's go for a swim. main set 350s fly round one all natural round two with fins round three with fins and paddles here we go now the key to swimming fast butterfly is to keep your body as high in the water as possible this starts with your head position your hip position and really making sure that your hips come up out of the water at the end of every single stroke round number one set number one I go out in a 15.2 on the first 25 of this 50 butterfly and the point of the drill that we focused on with the power is to really focus on driving that upper body uh, power and agility through the water, uh, pulling almost with a straight arm recovery under the water. Second, 25, I split 16.9 for a 32.1 on the first 50. On the second 50, I went a little bit faster, a little bit more pop in the stroke, really focused on a clean hand entry. The hands enter the water at about 11 and one. If you look at the hands of a clock, you wanna enter about 11 and one in front of the shoulders, first 25 out in a 14.2, about a second faster than the first 50. Now I was trying to descend 50s number one through three on all three rounds. Uh, as you'll see, I was pretty much more of a best average on the first three 50s. I split a 17.2 for a 31.4 on the second 50. Now on the third 50, I did try and go a little bit faster, but to be honest, I was fatigued and I did not go any faster. I actually went a little bit slower on the third 50. I think because I picked up my tempo on this first 25 too much, I was slipping, I split a 
on the first 25. And as a result, as you'll see on the second half of this second 25 on the third 50, I did die a little bit. And right here, I feel my body going up and down. My hips are getting lower and lower in the water and I feel the burn. I split a 17.5 on the second 25 for a 32.0. Now with round two, adding the fins definitely makes things a little bit more interesting. I can push the underwaters. I can feel a lot more comfortable with the stroke. You can see my upper body is a lot more relaxed on the recovery. And on this first 50 of round two, I split a 13.0. So definitely a pretty good amount faster than the 50s without the fins. Definitely have a lot more drive, but still focused on a clean hand entry over the water. Again, the arms want to reach to 11 and one directly in front of the shoulders. And on second 25, I split a 15.9 for a 29.0. Second 50 of round two, put a little bit more pop in the underwater dolphin kicks, about halfway underwater. And as you breathe, really trying to keep that chin right at the surface of the water. First 25 out in a 12.5, so putting the pedal to the metal. Pushing the underwater, uh, I don't think I went about halfway here. And again, trying to keep that chin level with the water so that way the hips don't sag too much. Uh, you can cheat yourself a little bit with fins. We go 15-2 for a 27.8 on the second 50. And then on the third 50, putting the most pop into the underwaters, still going about halfway underwater. And you can see the hips, you know, my the top of my swimsuit, my butt's just getting over the surface of the water. First 25 split in 11.8 my fastest 25 yet. A little bit more explosive on the underwater dolphin kicks, just past halfway. And that's the crime of fins. It's a lot easier to kind of power through the water. You want to make sure you're keeping your hips high. Split a 14.5 on the second 25 for a 26.3. Now on the third 25, we're going fins and paddles. Definitely get the most pop here, most power for the upper body and the lower body. My distance per stroke is going to be the best trying to really feel the power going out in 11.7 on the first 25. That's the fastest 25 yet. And then on the second 25, again, trying to keep that chin low to the water, hands enter at 11 and one in front of the shoulders, keep the hips up, split a 15, I'm sorry, 14.4 for a 26.2 on the first 50 of round three. Second 50 of round three, we get a little bit faster, still going about halfway underwater on the dolphin kicks. Now, if I were to do this set over again, I would put a little bit more focus on getting the hips higher, splitting 11.9 on the first 25, because that's the most important thing in butterfly. If you want to swim fast butterfly, you got to get your hips high in the water so that your legs aren't dragging, and that'll give you more endurance. So second 25 is split a 14.0 for a 25.9 on the second 50. And the final 50, um, definitely have the most explosive tempo underwater, still only about halfway underwater. Most pop on the stroke, really trying to put the power together. We go out in 11.1 on the first 25, do the open turn, trying to squeeze in as many dolphin kicks before running out of air. And then we go second 25, we split a 14.3 for a 25.4. If we take a look at my splits across all three rounds, all three 50s, comparing the 25s and the 50s. Round one, I was able to average 31.8 all natural. Round two, I was averaging 27.7 with the fins. And then with fins and paddles, putting the most effort, able to hold an average of 25.8 across the 50s. The most important thing with swimming butterfly is to keep your hips up. When you breathe, keep your chin right at the surface of the water. And after you breathe, put your head down, get your hips up. You wanna have a really controlled recovery over the water. You wanna feel like you're swimming gracefully. And the goal of the drill of swimming a freestyle kick with a butterfly pull is to focus on flattening out that stroke, but at the same time, you wanna keep your entire body high in the water and drive that upper body power. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, give it a like, share it with your friends and reference it anytime you're looking to swim faster butterfly. That was my swim pro workout of the week. Happy swimming.